Good morning, HHS. Kale McGuckin here for HHS Today. The aftermath of Pep Rally has led us to another normal week at HHS. But enough scheduling nonsense. Here's Mr. Bishop in a minute with the principal. What's up, HHS? First off, thank you to the Student Council for planning what I felt was a great spirit week in Pep Rally. It was awesome to see everyone so decked out. But I'm interested in what you all thought. Are there things we can do to improve the week or the rally? Let me know. I'd love to hear your feedback. Now tonight is International Night in the CAF starting at 7 p.m. Admission is free and there will be plenty of good food and entertainment as we showcase our exchange program and increase our community's cultural literacy and global awareness. Also tomorrow is a Hiller Day, so enjoy the extra sleep, but remember the Hopkins traffic in the morning and plan accordingly. Monday is obviously Halloween and one of the great traditions here at HHS is the Senior Halloween Breakfast. Seniors, please check your, your emails for an update from me about the expectations and plan for the day. Next Thursday during advisory, we will be taking the Metro West Adolescent Health Survey. This is an anonymous and voluntary survey, but I encourage you all to participate. We do this survey every two years and the results are used to help plan our health education and prevention services. Lastly, has someone gone out of their way or done something really nice for you recently? If so, let me hear about it and maybe we'll recognize that person here on this segment next time. Send me an email or stop me in the halls to let me know. Okay. That's all for me. Be kind to one another and back to you. Now everybody, we have a big announcement to make. From this moment forward, the five second interview will be called Question of the Day. And today's question of the day is, what, do you, what would you do if you won the lottery? We would travel the world. I would use that money to hire Lana Del Rey to have a private show with me, duh. Um, if I won the lottery, I would use the money to go on a trip around the world. Okay, I will divide the money into three parts. First part for some personal expense, such as, you know, buy some stuff, fancy stuff. And also, second part, I will put some money into the bank or some, do some, into the stock market, do some investment. And also, I want the other part, maybe it's a bigger part, to uh, donate to some foundations to help uh, the people, you know, the poor people or the people with illness or stuff like that. I will start a business. Yeah, that's it. What would you do if you won the lottery? I would buy a swimming pool full of jello. So, uh, how much money are we talking about here? One billion dollars. One billion. I would, uh, I would buy Bill Gates' toenail and donate that to charity. Which charity? American Red Cross. I would create a foundation and put all my money in it so I won't have to pay taxes. I would buy a golden house and a golden lake and a golden jet ski for that golden lake. Get myself a Klondike bar. I would definitely take my mom to Paris and donate it to my church. Uh, I would donate some of it to charity. Um, I would keep a lot of it in savings and I would use it to travel around the country because why not? If I won the lottery, I would exchange it all for pennies at the bank and just see what happens. Moving on, we caught up with the music teachers going on the music department's New York City trip this weekend. There are a bunch of different things that we're looking forward to doing. One of them is seeing the performances. Uh, the London Symphony is uh, world-renowned, uh, really an excellent group. Also just having, uh, giving students a chance to explore the city um, and see why it is uh, New York City is such a, um, a cultural location, both in terms of music and uh, fashion and all sorts of other areas. I guess the biggest expectation for me is that the students will really enjoy and embrace going to see these performances and that eventually like as they get older you know this will be something else that they're going to want to do and which is to you know maybe travel to new york city to see a show or go see the opera the met i think that uh getting to know new york is an important goal but uh also uh one of the main uh, curricular goals of this is uh, for students to experience what it's like to go to different types of performances. Uh, so we see performances, informal performances like pep rally and our school concerts, uh, but a lot of students haven't been to a full orchestra concert. The next day when we go see Aladdin, they're going to meet some of the people from the cast and crew of Aladdin and just to be able to interact with those people and see what they do on a daily basis I think will be uh, really educational for everybody. I'm expecting it's going to be a lot of fun, but also a pretty busy trip. So uh, we're leaving Hopkinton at 7 a.m. on Friday, uh, and then uh, we'll have lunch in New York City, and then we go right to the tour of Lincoln Center, uh, dinner at the Hard Rock Cafe, 
uh, and then evening performance. Uh, so there's not going to be a lot of time to rest, uh, but uh, I think it will both be educational and a lot of fun. Big thing I want them to get out of the experience is one that live performance is, is really something we need to still go support and see because it's a, just a unique experience. Three years ago, uh, the chorus students went. So this is the first time that we're taking band, chorus, and orchestra students. Finally, we come to Have You Seen This? Last week's photo was tricky. So tricky, in fact, that nobody got it. It was a close-up of the World Map Advertising Model UN Club in the History Wing. Here's this week's photo. Have you seen this? If you have, email us at hhstv at hillers.org or Snapchat us at HHSTV Snaps. And remember, if you're going to Snapchat us, take a picture of where the photo is or you in front of where the photo is or else it won't count. And as a little incentive to participate, if you get this photo, you will win a delicious candy-filled water bottle. Anyway, that's it for this week. Until next time, folks, this is HHS Today signing off.